this video I want to talk about MREs. I happen to have three vegetarian MREs and they're from varying years. So I have one from 2017, I believe this one is from 2015, and 2014. So these are a bit older and you know they're all still good to eat and I have a military surplus shop uh, locally here in Alaska that uh, had these individually in like a bin so I bought three of them to do a video now this is a full day's worth of food if you're in the military and typically if you're gonna be out for days you're gonna get MREs before you go uh, hopefully or you might get them in the field and uh, Basically, when you have three MREs, they're going to give you uh, about 1,250 calories each on average. Um, and, you know, that basically ends up being about 3,700 calories on average uh, for a day. So, depending on what you're doing, that might be enough, that might not be enough. But I want to go ahead and explain a little later in the video why that actually is not enough due to what we end up doing. So if you get them before you go into the field, you're gonna do certain things that like toss certain things out to save on weight. And of course you're expending calories and I'm gonna do a demonstration of that. But even when you're in the field, you might not eat something on a certain day because you don't have time. You wanna still eat something, but you don't really have the, the time to eat certain things that would have more calories or whatever. And you'll go with uh, other things that you know, may not have as much of a return. Now, when you're looking at the nutrition of these um, these meals, 13% of it is protein. Now, 36% uh, of that is fat and 51% is carbs. Now, this is a, a high energy, you know, a fast return, you know, maintaining your energy type of meal. And, you know, each MRE has, is supposedly has, you know, a third of your daily needs of vitamins and minerals. Now, uh, it's it really depends on what you're doing. You can burn up to four or 5,000 calories in a day, depending on what you're doing if you're on the move a lot. But anyways, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and open up these rations, take everything out of them and lay it out, and we'll discuss uh, everything from there. Okay, so I have everything laid out. So... As you'll notice here, everything's pretty consistent for the most part on what you get. There's just a bit of variety here. So each of these have a main with a sleeve and a heater. Not all of them actually come with heaters. It depends on what you get. Um, but all, all these have heaters with them and they're underneath. These newer ones have sleeves on them and the spicy penne being as old as it is, uh, it has the old box that you just put back in, put the meal back in with the heater in it. All of them have little spices that come with them to enhance the flavor, and of course they all come with spoons. Now, also you're going to get a bread or a cracker ration, I guess you could call it, with a spread of some sort. And all of these had peanut butter, but they had, uh, in this lot, I got all three of the different types of peanut butter. I got chunky peanut butter, regular peanut butter, and chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter is the holy grail of peanut butters. Then, of course, you could um, end up getting like cheese spread in some of the other ones, like regular cheese spread, cheese spread with bacon, or jalapeno cheese spread. Jalapeno cheese spread being the holy grail of the cheese spreads. So, uh, you got uh, two crackers and a wheat snack bread. The new wheat snack breads say white wheat snack bread trans fat free or TFF. Kind of interesting. You won't see that on any of the old ones, but. Anyways, that is what it is. So, with all that, you have also drinks. And with this one, you have, you know, French vanilla cappuccino instant powder and your raspberry beverage base powder. It doesn't really have any vitamins in it. It's just aspartame and, you know, it uh, it's sugar-free. But this one, you have tropical punch and you have your spice cider. Then over here, you have chocolate uh, pudding, I guess it could be the dessert, but you have orange beverage powder and you have coffee. And the coffee comes with uh, creamer and sugar. Now the new coffee is uh, underneath the, uh, or it's right next to the sugar and the creamer. It's in the military packaging as I call it. It's not taster's choice like it used to be and it's spray dried instead of freeze dried. So that's an entirely different process, but You'll notice in all of these, uh, in all the accessory packs, they're not all the same. 
two of them have matches. In the old school MREs, every one of them had matches, and uh, most of them had hot sauce. This one had a seasoning blend, but didn't have hot sauce. Um, I, I usually always had Tabasco, and we always had Tabasco in ours, but this one didn't. Sometimes you get right, red, uh, crushed red pepper or something like that, but uh, these two had matches. This one didn't. That's a new thing. Uh, some, some will come with matches. Others won't. So then, of course, you get moist towelettes and toilet paper. They are basically the same. All of these have moist towelettes and toilet paper. I use the moist towelette for the primary toilet paper and this other tissue as backup. Uh, trust me, that's the way to go. And, of course, you have your 0.4 grams of salt. And, you know, on all of these, they're all the same. So then, of course, you uh, have your chewing gum. Now, the red is... You know, I'm pretty sure that stands for cinnamon, at least uh, in the current MREs, that's what it is. I'm not sure what the white is. I think it might just be a peppermint spearmint, you know, some kind of mint. So, you'll notice here that you have other fun things in there, like you have uh, jalapeno cashews, applesauce, and you have your uh, dessert, which here is the oatmeal cookie. Over there you have like a Pop-Tart or a, a, and a chocolate pudding. And also you have like combos, honey mustard and onion pretzels as they call them. Here you have vanilla pound cake and, you know, cranberries, but it's very basic in these old ones. These ones tend to have like more things to snack on. So <clears throat> anyways, when you're uh, opening up these, when you're opening up these MREs, uh, when you're getting ready for the field, you're looking at all these contents and this is like a whole day's worth of food. This is a lot of stuff, mind you. So... When I'm going uh, through MREs, when I was going into the field, what I would like to do is I would like to get things out that I'm not really going to take the time to make. I think it's just, you know, it's a little too much effort. It's not really worth anything. So uh, just to use uh, this one as an example, these two columns as an example, this is the vegetable crumbles with pasta in taco style sauce. Long menu name. So anyways... If I was to open up this MRE and go through it, first thing I would do is obviously set aside one spoon. The rest of them would go, so I would only have one spoon, and I would keep the wrapper to it. So I would take the uh, seasoning for the main, I would take the main, I would toss the, the label, I would keep the main, and I would keep the heater for, for this main just in case I actually have time. And then I would take like the quick uh, cashews, the jalapeno cashews would stay. So we'll go ahead and make this pile right here. I would keep the applesauce. I would toss the uh, cappuccino. I would toss the, tish the emergency tissue paper. I would keep the moist towelette. I would keep the crackers. I would keep the peanut butter. I would keep the oatmeal cookie and Toss the wrapper for the uh, Tootsie Rolls, which is basically another uh, dessert for this menu. It's kind of hard to go through all of it and label it all uh, to save time on the video, but I would end up uh, keeping only one of these and tossing it. I would toss the salt. I most of the time would toss the chewing gum, and I, I'll just toss this one and keep one of the other ones. And since this one doesn't really have uh, anything for me to... Uh, have a beverage bag or I don't have anything to mix it in I would toss this if it was the only MRE but since I have beverage bags I will keep one around after mixing it with the other one so uh, mind you this one this menu right here actually weighed 26 ounces when I started so now I'm down to just a little bit of food and I would just be keeping this heater so now I have this and I'll go ahead and put the measurements right here and now we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. So when I'm looking at this, I would keep the spice cider and let's just put that up there. I would toss the emergency toilet paper. I would take the real toilet paper. I'd toss the seasoning blend. I never found them to be useful in this one. I'll toss this spoon. I would take this peanut butter. I would take the crackers. I would take the main. Not the heater, not the wrapping to the heater, not the gum, not the matches. I would not take the salt. 
and I would not take the wrapping for that. I have a beverage bag and my drink mix. Of course you want that and there you go. And the cranberries, eh, it's up to you if you would keep the cranberries. I like dried fruit, so yeah, I would keep that. So I've got all of that already. So this is broken down. This didn't have as much you know, trash to it, but it's still a good amount. So let's go ahead and move on to the last one. So moving to the last one, I would toss my spoon. I already got a spoon. I would toss the pepper sauce. I would toss the packaging. I would take the heater for this one because this one probably would taste better heated. Keep the combos. I would probably keep the Pop-Tart, toss the wrapping for the Pop-Tart, toss the dessert pudding. I would take the beverage bag, but or I would take the beverage, not the bag, and toss the emergency toilet paper, take the moist towelette, I would take the, uh, I would take the coffee, I would take the salt, I would toss the matches, toss the wrapper, toss the chewing gum, toss the sugar, and toss the creamer. I would take the chocolate peanut butter and the wheat snack bread. I broke down a lot of that. So now we're going to go ahead and move into counting the calories out of all of these. And we're going to go ahead and kind of see what happened here. So we started out with roughly 36, 3,700 calories and 1,200 calories in each, right? So if I was going to be humping all this stuff and I was going to be burning a lot of energy, and I needed food throughout the day and to keep up my weight and everything and keep in the fight. Let's go ahead and count the calories out of all of these and you know see where we're at. Okay, so I counted up all the calories in these meals and you know the results are kind of interesting. The most efficient meal that I had, if you noticed, was the spicy penne. I did not have to throw away much of anything from it. So it came in at having the highest amount of calories retained uh, after being stripped down because it didn't really lose any calories. It came in at 1,340 calories for this meal. So that's above the 1,200 calorie you know, average that they say. So uh, I believe that they probably increased the amount of uh, food or calories in the meals uh, kind of anticipating some people would uh, you know, strip them down and still try to get them above 1,200 calories. Maybe that's the case because in the taco pasta here, uh, you're looking at an MRE that would be 1,400 calories if you ate everything, and give or take, you know, 10 calories or whatever. After I stripped it down, it's down to 1,230 calories. Not bad, but you know, kind of drawing that fine line there. But I would have stripped it down more if I would have been on, if I was to be on my feet a lot or whatever. Uh, if I had tasted these before, I probably would have tossed them whatever main I didn't really care for. And I probably would have tossed like the Pop-Tart or, or something that is just monotonous like you see all the time. But, uh, you know, of course it, you could toss more, keep, keep more, you know, whatever. So for the last one, the veggie sausage, uh, it came in at 1,380 calories, still more than the penne, um, but after I stripped it down, it was down to 1,070 calories. So in all, you know, you're looking at the taco pasta, 1,230, plus the uh, one on the end, the veggie sausage, so that's 2,300, uh, 2,300 calories plus the 1,300 in the middle, so that's 3,640 calories. So, you know, you're at your 3,600 mark, but is that enough? Well, it kind of depends on what you're doing and how much you're actually going to have time to eat. Now, a lot of times you don't want to carry more than you have to. So every time you go out into the field and you have extras, the next time you're going to strip it down more. You're going to be like, eh, I didn't have time to eat the Pop-Tart, so let's go ahead and toss that. Eh, I didn't really care to, you know, have the regular peanut butter, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and find that, and I'm going to toss that. You know, I don't really care for that. I didn't really have the coffee. I don't really lose any calories. I didn't end up having my drink mix, so I'll toss that. I had my spice cider, but you know what? It really wasn't that great. And, you know, you, you end up tossing things, and, you know, you end up losing calories. You're tossing away energy, calories, etc. You know, the raspberry drink mix here, five calories, whoop, and it goes away. So, 
there's a lot of things that go into uh, whether you're going to lose weight on deployment or whatever. Like a lot of people will just be like, yeah, I'm not really in the mood for that, so I'm just going to toss that uh, food. Uh, and they don't realize that they're tossing, you know, valuable calories that could, you know, sustain their weight. Now, granted, this is mostly carbohydrates and stuff, but when you're burning a lot of energy, that's what you need to sustain your energy. So, you know, when you're uh, looking at an MRE, I would... I would caution a lot of people from thinking that, oh, the military is giving you a good food or whatever. Yes, they're trying to supply you with things that are efficient in the field as far as MREs go. But for the most part, it's on the individual to eat what they're given. And the military does try to provide you a good amount of vitamins and minerals to sustain you. But it's not really something that's going to be comfortable. So people are going to start stripping them down. They'll toss a main that they're not really a fan of. Like, not probably cost this. I don't really care about, you know, Tootsie Rolls or whatever. I didn't have time to think about it because I shoved it in a pocket. I didn't really care for this main the last time, so I'm going to toss that. And, you know, who needs the seasoning? You know, whatever. Um, you might think, oh, well, this is all for a day. I've got one, you know, butt wipe and I've got an emergency on me, so I don't need all the moist palates. So you're shedding weight and sometimes you're shedding calories. So you see how this narrows it down. So Basically, all of this could probably fit into an MRE bag, and I'll go and grab all this stuff up and see if I can fit it all in one MRE bag, which is typically what I like to do. So, you know, when you're out in the field, you'll probably be like, eh, you know, I don't really care to have a, a hot meal anymore. You now, these beverage bases are, are good to have, but... You know, you might not have time for it. Who needs a, a beverage bag when you already have, you know, a, a beverage base that already has a bag? You know, I'll just reuse that. Eh. Got my moist towel that'll go in a pocket. The salt, eh, I don't need salt. I got my chocolate peanut butter, got my crackers. You know, I'm just not feeling like having another one. I'll be worn out from having one. So, you pack all this stuff in. And... See if it all goes, huh? So there we go. This is a day's worth of food, all packed into one MRE and one MRE bag. So this is actually what I would do, like when we would go on operations or whatever, and we'd do things for like uh, days at a time. This was before you know the first strike rations uh, started being issued out. Uh, I remember the first time I got them, they were the size of this, and they have uh, about 3,600 calories themselves. But you know, we would, I created my own first strike ration for the most part, just to save on weight and everything else. So you know. You, you got to understand that uh, when you're in the field, you, you do end up shedding calories uh, if you are planning ahead of time. And you're not just going to carry around the whole MRE. That's a lot of trash. That's a lot of crap that you're going to have to carry out with you. So anyways, I know there was a lot of dry content in this video, but I wanted to kind of spread my knowledge from my experience in the military and haven't eaten a lot of MREs and just try to explain some things like why MREs don't exactly help you sustain weight. Uh, they do have a good amount of calories and you're looking at almost 4,000 uh, 4, calories in these meals if you were to eat everything. All of these MREs, you know, they came in at about 4,100 4, calories. So that would have been well enough to maintain weight uh, if you're, you know, moving around a lot, you're humping gear a lot. but you know, for the most part, you have to shed weight, and you're having to, you know, shed calories when you're shedding that weight, too. So, you know, you're, and also, you might not have time to eat all of this stuff. So, you know, in some ways, the MREs are good, but in other ways, eh, you know, they, do, they just don't cut it. And it's, half of it's the problems with the uh, individuals that are eating these, the other problems, the mission and the command, and you know, the burden that's placed uh, on on them with the situation. So, you know, MREs what, are what they are. You know, they're, they've are they gotten a lot better now. They've got a lot more variety. But, you know, for the most part, the situation dictates it, whether they're going to be useful or not. Hope you found this video useful. Go ahead and leave your comments below, and you guys have a good one.